Simone. Moses is busy taking that one out, getting that bracket off. One thing Simone's gonna freaking hate me for, but I hate this thing. So we got Gray and Glenn over here um, helping us out this week. Okay, Grace, now next task is getting this prop off so that we can get this anode out. It's hot in South Africa. The grease your pins is the model of the story. <laughs> We're going motorless. Yeah. New announcement, motorless for Lady Africa. She was old and neglected, so we cut her to bear holes and built her up from the ground with our blood, sweat and tears. So follow our journey as we plan to sail her to new destinations and make lasting memories. If you would like to support our boat build, go check out our boat builder's coin on SV Seeker's website. Link is in the description below. So everyone, welcome to another week's episode. If you guys don't know what we do, we're building a catamaran in South Africa. And this is kind of the story about the whole journey, how we started from the start to the end. Today we got Gray and Glenn with us. And they're gonna spend the whole week with us, helping us out. They're also patrons of ours. So we're super happy to have them here in South Africa. They're from Utah. Uh, Salt Lake City in particular. So a big thank you to them for being here and spending some time with us. It's awesome having friends with us and helping us out. Hope you enjoy the episode. Lovely to be here in PE. It was an old stomping ground of mine when I was in the army. It's great to see you guys again and to be on the boat at this point. And we know that next year we're going to see this boat in the northern hemisphere sailing in beautiful waters. This is just such an amazing adventure. We're all super excited about this. If you're, a, if you're a patron, you come visit us, I promise you, we don't make all our patrons work. <laughs> so what we're doing now is, we've marked out where our brace points are going to be for the, the platform. So I'm going to remove all that paint and the, the gel coat that's on there until we get to raw glass. Because we want to attach directly to the glass of the boat. So we'll take out all the paint along the areas that we needed to bond it in place and then sand all of that and prime it and paint it again the prep work had been done but we decided it would be best to remove the engine before we fiberglassed in our swim platform so moses is busy taking that one out getting that bracket off that's the one that's completely gone there's no more life left than that. So we'll change that to hydraulic mounted right here and then two hydraulic lines. So from inside they will run two hydraulic lines straight to the cylinder which would be mounted back here to do the steering. That'll make life so much easier instead of having all these reduction gears and whatnot. Hopefully the pump will deliver enough volume to the pump to the thing. We've got to remove that one too. So it was a straight shaft that they had. So they had a straight shaft connected to two different set gear systems so you could choose your rate at which the pump pumps. Not a bad system if it works, but it doesn't work. And the pump was mounted wrong, so the system was inefficient. We're busy doing the final sizings for these to make sure they fit. How are we gonna run the gas line? So from here, gas line connecting to here. It's gonna come down this edge down in the corner in here and then under here where you open this we're going to have a shuttle valve right over here so yeah that's how it is and there will be the oven with a shuttle valve that right at the bottom gas hole up top here and then a nice big nice big vent over here for all the hot air and right over here is where we're going to have a cut out with our window opening that's going to be sweet super stoked it's hot in South Africa, guys. It's freaking, so if you guys want a good summer, head out here, we've got more than enough work for you. <laughs> for you. How's it going, Moj? Coming out now. Coming out now? Yeah. Great, man, great. One thing Simone's gonna freaking hate me for, but I hate this thing. Is this thing right here, it's one of these, like, just like a compartment. And I was at commercial and I saw a nice little one with the lid and everything, and I'm so into that. So, and I'm sorry, but this one's gotta go. So there, I just cut it out. That's what it looks like. Not too shabby. 
and uh, I'm just gonna smoothen off those edges there at the bottom with the with the grinder with the flapper. So there we go. Got to fit it in. Matches that one. Close it up. It's a nice box. We'll have USB fittings inside there. I'm gonna close it up. There you go. It just looks squiff, but it's not. So we've got those holes now. That one and that one that we want to close up. Plus that one where the new box went in. So we're going to close that up with some wood. Got out a section there. I'm going to drill out those ones quickly. There's a cutout for that one. So use the same size hole so that goes in there. It leaves enough space for epoxy to go in. Put it in like that. And then texture coat over that and paint once it's been epoxied in tomorrow. Glenn and Gray had arrived and started the process of getting the Z-Drive removed. Every little pin, bolt and nut was corroded, so it took much longer than expected to remove everything. Nah, we're gonna think of ditching it. Well, we're first gonna taste the it prop. as a spare. I'll just keep it not as a spare, but like keep it there and test what's the efficiency without it. Okay. And then you think it's bad dredge drag? I think heavy drag. Oh. And I think inefficiency. You know, if the prop's looking for water. That thing's kind of restricting it from. Yeah. Okay, guys. Now next task is getting this prop off so that we can get this anode out and then all the additional stuff. She definitely was in desperate need for some TLC. We first tried knocking the pins out. While Ricky and Gain were busy with that, Gray and Moses were making our davits shine. Everyone was a bit defeated after trying to get the pin out as it took the whole day. The next day came and we tried removing it with heat. That didn't work and had to resort to drilling it out. So we got Gray and Glenn over here and um, helping us out this week. Our task is to take off the engine. Do you think it's been an easy task? Not at all. Most of the stuff is corroded, so we're trying every single thing we can to get this engine out. But yeah, everything, the, the Z drive, everything has just been, it's been a bit of a pain. But we're getting there. I mean, it's taken us forever. So it's awesome that they are here helping us out. For two days, me and Glenn been busy with this, and that's pretty much a solid pin. It just had a little grease hole nipple in the in the middle, with a little retaining pin that went in there. And we had to drill out literally everything stuck in there. And now, just so that we can get this mechanism now off. See, now we can get it off. So that's literally two days of trying a whole bunch of methods before we decide 
we're gonna sacrifice the fin. That even, even has a lube hole in there. It allows us for lubrication to decrease your fins is the model of the story. Take out the second one. If we can get this out two days. Two days. Are you happy it's out man? We are so happy. We're on our way to success. This is what happens when you don't do proper maintenance. If there was a bit of grease in this thing, it would have been out two days ago. <laughs> Gray and Moses got back. Gray, how's our stainless steel looking? It's looking good. Is it polished? It's ready to be installed. Yeah, it's ready. <laughs> it's ready. ready for the hammock. <laughs> Those nuts over there are corroded, so we're going to clean them up with the wire brush and we'll hopefully get them out nice and easy. This is a normal mild steel bolt. The head rusts, and that head could have rusted uh, so badly that this uh, draft could have come loose. We're going motorless. Yeah. New announcement, motorless for Lady Africa. Gonna sail upwind. Save this thing the hydro foils will come out the bottom here. Yeah? Front and the back, dual hydro foils. And um, should be good. Baby so fat and old design that we're gonna need wings on her, not hydro foils. Wet ring, retaining for ring, plan for wedgie that one. ring. This is how you give a boat a wedgie. <laughs> Me and you face it. Is it heavy? Yeah, boy. Jeez, what? Good job, she's naked. But yeah, we've definitely pulled the engine back eh, with all the yanking we do, yeah. we're doing. So this is what that they drive does to the geriatrics. <laughs> Breaks them diet, yo. <laughs> Breaks the back. Now we could finally remove our engine. Stay tuned till next week where we attempt to remove our engine and start working on fixing up our engine bay. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe below if you haven't already and give us a big thumbs up because it helps us out a lot. If you would like to support our production and join our amazing patron family, a link is provided in the description below. Big thanks to our awesome new patron, Greg Cumming.